Welcome to another episode of QPort by Test House, where you will hear us discussing on interesting tech topics and the perspectives of our experts. I'm Alfi Christina, and I'll be your host for this episode. On today's podcast, we have with us Shivra, Director of Delivery Management for Non-Functional Testing and QA Services. In this episode, we will be discussing on the current trends in performance testing, highlight few unique achievements of our team, and share our past experience around challenges encountered and our solution approach. Thank you, Shivram, for joining us today. Thank you, Alfie, for the opportunity. So, on to my very first question. Can you please share trends in performance testing? Sure, Alfie. It's a very interesting topic. So, I'll, I'll talk about key trends in software QA and get into some of the details and the ones that are relevant to performance testing. If you're developing an application, it should basically address three important attributes from QA, uh, which is functional, performance, and security. So these are more like three pillars of quality. So QA team's responsibility is to ensure the application works as expected, uh, which is meeting the functionality, is available and responsive, which is to do with the performance, and secure, right, which is more from the security angle. If you look at few years back, some of these testing types were either nice to have or good to have. <clears throat> but today, these testing types are must have. Hence, QA teams play a very critical role in the life cycle of an application. Adoption of agile, DevOps, DevSecOps, low code, no code platforms, and usage of AI, ML, RPA, and increased adoption of cloud based testing. These are in the greater demands today. Specifically talking about trends in performance testing, uh, there is an emphasis on shift left and continuous testing. You can relate this to one of our key theme, which is test early and test often. Early involvement of performance testing teams in uh, software development lifecycle helps early detection of performance issues. So we can baseline, benchmark APIs or web services as they're being developed. We can also compare performance trends based on the previous runs or provide how the application is performing during each sprint. Continuous testing can be achieved by integrating uh, performance testing with the DevOps pipeline. Next trend I can think of is around cloud-based testing. There are a lot of customers looking at reducing capex, hence there is growing demand for uh, pay-as-you-go model or you, know, you can call it as cloud-based with subscription, consumption-based models. Right? And uh, today the cloud based testing provides scalability, flexibility, and more importantly, cost efficiency in test activities. Simulating real world condition is another important part of performance testing, which helps measure and assure performance under real world, uh, real load conditions. We can simulate traffic from various locations, networks, browsers, or devices, and measure the behavior. I would recommend using any uh, cloud-based platform to achieve this. Next trend, personally, uh, I find it very interesting is around uh, kiosk testing. Right? Today, one of the more uh, one of the core objective is to build resilient systems. Kiosk engineering can help randomly create failure in one part of the architecture, and you observe the behavior and understand if there are any cascading issues due to this failure. So I would say both performance engineering and kiosk engineering are proactive approaches to learning how to build resilient systems through observing failures. While I talked about shift left earlier, shift right is increased collaboration between QA and operations. QA teams can help create synthetic transactions for, for proactive identification of issues in the production. We can also gather key statistics to simulate these behaviors in test environment. So Alfie, overall, I feel shift left and shift right, con continuous testing, cloud-based testing, and kiosk engineering are some of the key uh, trends in performance testing. What you have. Okay. And what makes us unique in this space? Yeah, today one of the major challenges in performance testing is identifying the dynamic parameters and correlation. We've created reusable uh, co correlation libraries for various applications. This will help us reduce our scripting effort. And I feel this is one of the greatest assets that we have at Testops. We also have custom built unified framework. You can plug in any tool. A framework supports running tests as part of DevOps pipeline. Custom reports and trending reports can be generated at a click of a button. Another unique uh, strength of our team is deep understanding of domain. Uh, we, we, we can recommend our clients around 
critical business scenarios that needs to be tested. You can assist with the workload modeling by analyzing your production logs or uh, from our prior experience. In addition, we can suggest right tool and get them up and running quick, quickly due to our partnership with leading providers. And from your experience, can you share few challenges faced by us and our solution approach? Sure. To be honest, every engagement is challenging in its own ways. Uh, our team's ability to quickly learn and implement the solution, that's what I feel differentiates us from others. Uh, but having said that, recently we come across an application which was using client-side parameter, wherein the application was sending one of the request parameter based on some sort of logic which was written by the development team. And we had to re uh, rewrite this custom logic in our script with no support from development team while racing against the time. We also have come across various scenarios where the application would be either end-to-end -end encrypted or will have some sort of additional security features, right? which is likely that most of the developers today are going to implement one or the either uh, the security features. Uh, for example, OTP, CAPTCHA, Signature. right? So these are some of the features which would be there in application which will hinder our testing activities. So in such situations, we work very closely with the development team uh, to come up with an appropriate solution. Another challenging engagement uh, was for, no, for one of our customers wanting to test for very high user load. Um, it was close to 4, 000, uh, 400,000 users, which is 400K, where uh, the load needs to be coming from various locations. Although we had experience of testing for 100K users, but this one was almost four times higher load and the timelines are very stringent. In, in this case, our solution was to go with the Load Runner Cloud platform from Microfocus, Micro which is part of OpenText now. So we leverage their platform to execute our test fairly quickly. On to my very last question. What is your advice for performance test teams? Like how can they be more innovative? Yeah, sure. Simulating real world conditions should be our key focus. Uh, so in case if you fail to identify the business critical scenarios to be tested or you fail to identify the peak load or the load distribution or if you do not supply the proper test data there are high chances that uh, things can go wrong when the application gets uh, deployed in production so it is essential to have detailed plan or approach around this so one of the key challenge of traditional tools is that they lack focus on the client side performance and metrics so most of the tools that are available today are more focused on the server server side testing uh, so where the load injection happens at the protocol or the network layer so which means the response time reported by these tools will not include any client side processing time hence i suggest team to leverage any tool which works at the ui layer to capture these kind of you know, the browser side rendering times which will include the, the javascript executions or the rendering times hence it is important to use combination of tools or solutions to measure end user experience which is very important today um, in today's world the slow time is the new downtime so we need to ensure our customer gets positive digital experience when interacting with technology so by optimizing the performance of website or the application business can enhance the digital experience and improve customer satisfaction positive experience is essential for business and organizations to attract and retain customers so with that we are winding up this episode of QPort. Thank you, Shivra, for enlightening us on performance testing and sharing your insights. Thank you, Anna. And thank you all for listening, and we will be back with another episode.